hello it's Ravi here and in today's video I will be showing you guys how you can make a 3D text in After Effects using Element 3D. So what you need to do is uh, make a composition like this or yeah you can choose your resolution or frame rate as you want but yeah that's this is what I'm going to use. Um, and yeah uh, you just start off by making a solid layer. Just like that, you can name it like uh, 3D text, and then make a a text layer. You can just press the text icon here and just write something. Uh, so, just for this tutorial, I'm going to write name. And uh, yeah, like it doesn't it, it doesn't matter if you you know align this uh, text or not. Uh, yeah, I'm using uh, Akira Expanded as font, if you guys want to use that. I think you can find it at uh, dafont.com. But yeah, um, so you just, you don't need to like see these layers, so you can just hide that layer. And then uh, you go into this solid layer, and then you add Element 3D. Just like that. Okay, so you start off by uh, going into this custom layer bar here, and then again custom text and masks, and then here you have you take your text you just wrote, and then there we go. You can uh, hide those, and then and uh, now we can go to scene setup, and then you get uh, this thing up. And uh, yeah, what you need to do now is to press extrude up here, and then you get your name here, your text here. And uh, what I'd like to do first is to uh, mess around a little bit with the bevel scale here. So it it will make the you, you don't need to uh, make the bevel scale here. You can make it uh, later on if you want, but or change uh, change it later on if you want. But yeah, I don't know. I like to do it here, so. Yeah, I don't know, maybe around 9, you just, and then it will become a little more thicker. <laughs> yeah, boy. And then going to the materials we want to have on this uh, layer here. And uh, so you just are going to do, you go into material, physical, and then you choose, I like to choose chrome, because I don't know, it, it looks pretty good. And also you can go here to Babels and uh, make some more styles. Yeah, you see guys, you can, I don't know, you can mess around a lot with this. Anyways, uh, yeah, I'm going to uh, have this. Uh, yeah, and then we go down here to extrusion model and then we find Chrome that we just choose. Uh, and then we scroll down here and uh, when you go down here to to environment, you can uh, go in here to environment and then low te load texture, holographic uh, textures. They look like this, and uh, you can just find them on Google. You just have to s search uh, holographic texture or something, and then these will uh, pop up. So yeah, I'm just gonna choose <clears throat> maybe this one, uh, and then press OK. And then you see, guys, now that the text has the texture I just choose on it. Then, when you're done here, you just press OK. And uh, okay, what I like to do, uh, what I think is looks insanely good <coughs> and more realistic as well, uh, is when you go into render settings and uh, go, into, go in here to ambient occlusion and enable this. Bam. Maybe it doesn't look any different right now, but you know, it, it makes a you know shadow so it looks more realistic. The text, if you guys know what I mean, and then I, I like to choo choose this ray trace. Uh, and then, yeah, you can take this SSAO if you want. I think you can mess around on your own with it, but yeah. Some of some of those, these two at least, look so much better. And uh, yeah, if you want to animate the text, let's say we want to make like an intro or like a tag in our edit. For example, so yeah, maybe one and a half seconds it should end. So I'm just gonna press a marker here. 
and in the middle of the intro and yeah okay so now we, we are going to animate it so you go into here uh, group one and then particle replicator and then i mean it's a lot of settings here so you can mess around with the c depth uh, position i mean the uh, dc position and here you can rotate and yeah and you guys see now with the shadows it looks a lot the more realistic what i like to do is go into particle looks here and uh, there's a lot of things you can do here so the one pretty popular <coughs> <coughs> section here is the multi object one so if you enable this one just like that you can uh yeah animate like uh, all the letters here so i think this is the like most you know popular one this one when they like rotate randomly all the letters uh yeah so yeah you can like cho choose this like maybe 130 or something start start off by 130 bam keyframe it go here to the middle press zero there then here minus 130 so and we want to have to have it to minus 130 otherwise you know so it you know you guys see it like we will we'll continue to rotate the same direction otherwise it would look like this bam and then you know back and forth you know that would look weird so i think that i mean in my, in my opinion that looks better so now you just want to press mark mark the keyframes press f9 and go into this graph editor and here we will put this to something like this maybe drag those there maybe something like that bam something like that like okay i think i think this is okay and yeah now you can also um can displace the the letters here maybe something like this you can't see them bam seven there zero there and then seven 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 let's see here okay so i think we will yeah edit them like this this one before something like this see guys it looks it looks pr pretty good pretty good now it looks smooth it looks clean uh and now uh, i will show you guys some effects you can do here as well so so when you're done you can if you would like want to change the colors you can add four color gradient and um, yeah now it looks weird but let's say let's say you want you want to have a a blue text i think that is kind of popular maybe blue sorry i'm colorblind i don't know what i'm doing but like something like that bam 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 and then you go into blending mode and go with color it looks something like this Oh, wait, I think maybe a little bit brighter one, maybe. Yeah, a little bit brighter. Something like that, maybe. And then, let's say you want to have it, have it uh, to glow or something. You can add... Uh, okay, there's a, a, a really great plugin called Deep Glow you can use. Uh, look, it will look like this. Uh, it looks insanely good, in, in my opinion. But yeah. Uh... I don't think ever, everyone has it, so you can you can just use normal glow in After Effects glow, and then maybe something like that. Intensity you can mess around with, and then Control D, and then something like this looks insanely good. And you can also, I would recommend you to guys use this, uh, here, this motion blur icon here. It will make it more smooth. You guys can see it here. It will look a lot, of, a lot more smooth. But yeah, okay. 
So, and now you can, I don't know, I like to, you know, mess around a little bit more with the effects. So, maybe Control D, the old thing. And then, there's a effect called Edge. Detect. Use that one. And here you kind of want to, like, use these Mona edges. And then, something like that. Drag them above, uh, above the glows, and then mess around with the glows again. So something like, something like, something like this, yeah. And then you can change the blending mode to like add or something. So now you have like a outlined text you guys see now. And uh, you know, you know, you can mess around with this a lot. You know, you guys see what I mean here. There is so much thing, things you can do. Uh, see, it looks insanely good uh, and clean. But yeah, and uh, see, now it's black and white. <laughs> There's so much things you can do. Okay, uh, but let's see. But yeah, I think this is like the result here. Yeah, see, I think it looks pretty good. So if you have like an editor you want to like make an intro, I think this element 3D is perfect. You can, bah, it's so good. You can make it how, however you want. But yeah, I think I think that is it. So if you guys uh, want to see some more tutorials uh, and stuff like that, uh, feel free to you know like subscribe and comment Com comment some uh, more tutorials you want to see and uh, yeah have a great day guys